having a large number of old family photos is fun. But, well, organizing them and sharing them, that can be a challenge. But Google Photos can be picture perfect when it comes to solving this problem. And I'm going to show you how in this video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, I am Lisa, author and genealogy researcher, and the YouTube channel here is designed to help you find your ancestors, grow that family tree, but not get overwhelmed in the process. So if that sounds like something you're, you're interested in, you're in the right place. What exactly is Google Photos? Google Photos is cloud-based photo storage that syncs across all of your devices. It allows you to organize your photos into albums and then be able to share those albums out to other family members. To use Google Photos, first off, you will need a free Google account. Now, when you register for that free Google account, you get automatically 15 gigabytes of free storage. And then additional storage can be purchased at a low cost. If you are uploading your images using the high quality setting, you will save on storage. Your photos will be at a slightly reduced quality, but to be honest, for my purposes, I've never noticed a difference. Now I've included in the description below a link to the Google support so that you can stay up to date on their latest policy when it comes to free storage. Now I take most of my photos with my cell phone and I have it automatically set to upload those photographs to my Google Photos in the cloud as soon as I connect my phone to the Wi-Fi at home. This allows me to quickly back up my photos and then be able to free up storage on my phone. And obviously it saves me a lot of time because I don't have to do it manually. It just happens automatically. Now, if you don't want to automatically back up all of your old family photos onto Google Photos, that's perfectly fine. You can go into your settings and actually adjust that off so that it's not an automatic upload. Okay, so now that you've taken a slew of, of family photographs, maybe they're of your grandchildren, maybe you got into your aunt's attic and you were able to take digital photographs of some of those old family photographs. Let's get them uploaded and organized. One of the things that I really like about Google Photos is that you can create albums, photo albums. And those albums are easily shareable by, use, by just sharing a link. Create albums based on family based on a location, maybe even based on a specific research trip that you took. Really, the list is endless. Now let's create your first album. Okay, we're over here on Google Photos and I want to show you how to create an album to share. So I went in and did a quick search of all my photos for the Haley photos. So I wanted to create a Haley family album. So this brings up all the ones I have uploaded and I can quickly and easily go through and click whichever ones I want to put on there. So we'll say we'll create those four into an album. And when I do, I'm going to come over to this plus sign here on the on the right top hand corner, click plus, and I'm going to add a new album. I can click album and it's put the photos in an album and then I can put in whatever I want to title it up here. Okay. And just hit enter. All right. So now I have my album with those four photographs in it. Now to share my family album, what I'm going to do is go up into the right hand corner, click share, and then I can invite people. I can invite, I can put in an email, I can create a link, which is usually what I like to do. I create the link and then I just copy it and then I can paste that into a, an email. I can share it on Facebook in a Facebook group and that way people can come in and then look at the photo album there. So that's all there is to creating a, a family photo album on Google Photos as well as sharing it. Now, I realize sometimes you're not going to want to create an entire album to share with your family or friends. You might just want to share one particular photograph, and that's doable as well. Now, you can edit photographs in Google Photos, but I can't say that you can do a lot of editing there. It's fairly basic when it comes to the editing that you can do 
there within Google Photos, but it is an option. So I'm gonna turn the, the camera back around and let you look at my screen and show you a really quickly how you can edit a photo in Google Photos. Now, while we're in Google Photos, I wanted to show you how to do some basic photo edits here. I, I typically just do the basics here. You can do a few things and I'm gonna show you how. You just open up the photograph, and when you do, you come up to the second icon right here from the left. If you hover over it, it says edit, and you click that, and it's gonna give you some options. So it gives you a number of options for different um, looks that you might want. You can keep the original, you can do an automatic um, enhancement, which is typically what I'm going to do, is usually the automatic one. If I want to do a little bit more, I can. I can go over here into the basic. If I want to change lighting at all, like, you know, if I need to darken it, lighten it, I can change a little bit on the coloring of it, the basics, and then I can also crop it using this over here. Now, when you're done, you just click done. I typically just do the basic edits here on Google. I typically use a vivid pix restore when I want to get a little more detailed in my um, edits. If I want to make things have a little more control over it, I usually prefer that. And then I upload it to Google photos, but you can do the basics here as well. And of course you can share it once you're done, if you wish. Now, when I want to do more extensive editing or even really faster editing, I actually use a program called vivid pix restore. Now I've talked about that in the past. I will put a link to it below in the description and you can check it out if you'd like as well. Now, if you would like to learn more about how to find and how to identify your old family photographs, watch the video on your screen, how to identify who is in that family photo. I've picked it out especially for you.